Good evening everybody and a very happy Homebrew Wednesday to you. Um, well, it's been a bit of a week for those of you in England, you'll probably know why, and for those of you not in England, you'll probably still have an idea why. Well, there's a couple of other things you won't be aware of. Okay, well first up, non-homebrew related, so I do apologise. The future King of England was born on Monday, um, he's third in line to the throne, and he's just been named today, which I'll go on to a bit later, so that's been uh, quite... Not a massive royalist, but um, it's always nice to have a bit of, you know, get the royal family in the limelight and uh, everyone have a bit of a, a fun time and a bit of a celebration. So here's uh, the very good health of baby George. Cheers. But on to the homebrew. I do apologise for that non-homebrew relatedness. Um, you may notice a rather large white object behind me. Well, this is my beer fridge. <laughs> I received a phone call on Sunday from a friend of mine who said that they knew someone who was giving away a fridge freezer, didn't want anything for it, and wanted a shot of it. So uh, I, probably in the space of about an hour, I legged it up there with my uh, wife's Ford Galaxy, shoved it in the back, brought it back. So, it's a Bosch as well, so it's not a bad make. I've got top section is freezer, so I've got some hops in there and some ice, obviously. I'll probably be making some more and freezing that up. Then, most importantly, dun, dun, dun. you can't see very well, the light's not working there. I think there's no bulb, so I'll need to replace that, but that's not a problem. Loads of beer, loads of beer, loads of mixers, a few more mixers, and I've still got loads of room, look, got all that free, that bit free, all oh, this, nothing in there. Obviously the problem with homebrew is you have to store it up right. Um, I could also double this up as a fermenter at some point as well. So, oh, I am absolutely made up, as you can probably imagine. I've now got my magnetic bottle opener on here. I've also got a wall mounted bottle opener for the man cave, but I'm not exactly sure which wall to put that on yet because I still need to have a look around. It's looking a bit tidier. Fermenters and stuff up there. A few bits and bobs. I've moved the bikes around so I can fit all my garden furniture under there. Sort of a few other bits to sort out, but it's getting there. Most definitely. So that's the. Uh... <laughs> Actually, more exciting than the raw way the raw baby being born. That I think that was uh, absolutely made up. Finally got a beer fridge, which I always wanted. So I'm a very very happy man right now. Um, drinking a St Peter's um, Golden Ale. The hop flavour it was really really overpowering. The hop flavour. I only used half the sachet, so thank God I didn't use the whole thing. Or a <laughs> bit of right mess. Um, yeah, slightly fading now, which is good. The more it matures, it was. Kegs on 15th of June. So it's about five weeks old now by my count. So, yeah, it's getting there. It's alright. But, yeah, it's not bad. More importantly, I tried my extract brew on Monday, the day that our uh, new, well, future king was born. Um, and it was amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. It tasted quite like an IPA but got quite a nice light refreshing obviously it's a lot of citrus taste because of the citrus hops and that and the cascade hops it was amazing I'd say hands down the best beer I have brewed it's absolutely brilliant um, yeah so I'm really chuffed with that um, I will probably do a taste test in another couple of weeks um, but anyway obviously I'm gonna have to come up with a name for it um, I've been thinking Tried it on the day that the uh, the future king of England was born, who's been named today as George. So I'm thinking about calling it something to do with him. So I'm thinking George's Summer Delight because it's a summer beer, definitely a very nice summer ale. Um, I'm sure he would love it if he was old enough to drink. And I tried it the day he was born. So I think we're gonna go for that. George's Summer Delight. I'll drink to that. Other than that, gluten-free beer kit. Um, I did do a video about it. I don't think I've uploaded it yet, so I need to double-check on that. I've not 
fermented it yet. I ran out of bottles. I've got small bottles now, but it's just too hot to ferment at the moment. It's about 25 in the man cave, 25 degrees C. Uh, I could potentially empty this out and ferment in there, which is an option. Um, but I'll see when I get back from holiday um, next week. I'll have a look and see um, what the temperature's looking like. Um, because, you know, I don't want to brew it at a really high temperature and then spoil it and then think that gluten-free beer tastes crap. Um, Tom Caxton Lager, I bottled that. That's, um, had a quick sip of that. Still very green, still very new. So I'm going to leave that another couple of weeks at least, I think. Um, so I'm going away anyway this weekend, so I won't be around to drink my homebrew. Alas. Um, Hoppy Copper Bitter. Still there. It's, um, it's not the best ale in the world, I'll be honest. It's, well, it's at 25p a pint, so it's not going to be fantastic. However, it, it's drinkable and sessionable and cheap. So it does the job, to be perfectly honest. So I'm not going to argue, really. Um, like I said, this isn't, this isn't too bad either, but probably be a bit more of a slow burn on that one. I probably couldn't session that as much because of the overpoweringness of the hops. But again, hopefully that's going to subside in a few weeks' time. Um, other than that, great... British Beer Festival, Hamworth Homebrew and myself are going to be going, as well as Brewmaster Dan. I've not actually checked out any of his videos yet, so I will probably have to go on and have a look. I'm so behind with everyone's videos, I'm really sorry. I've not watched them in ages, I've just been so busy. And with the weather like it is, I've been, as you know, I moved into this house, you know, tail end of last year. The weather is, it's been like I've been out, I've been doing the garden, digging stuff up, you know, just, just trying to do a bit of home improvement and whatever, so last thing really you want to do is stuck inside watching YouTube videos all night so um, but you know I will we'll get around to watching them at some point um, because there's there's so many great videos out there to watch really um, other than that I think I'm about done not much else to all. I'm off to sunny Bournemouth on Friday just for a few days um, should be good fun though um, looking forward to it weather's hopefully going to be good as well um, it is really hot still 25 degrees plus in the the man cave at the moment. So I'm probably sweating because I've left the door closed um, just to keep some of the noise out and also so the neighbours don't hear me and think I'm mad talking to myself. Um, so anyway, I've rambled for far too long. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Very happy Homebrew Wednesday to you all. Um, those of you in England, I hope you're raising a glass to the future king. And even those of you not in the UK, I think you still should. So, any excuse to have a beer at the end of the day, and that's a bloody good one. Cheers, everyone, and remember, it's not brew to be looked at.